final part. The puddle's initially two centimeters deep, and the evaporation constant, huh, like the rate at which things are um, evaporating, I guess depending on like temperature and wind and all that kind of thing, is that value there. Find how long it takes for the puddle to evaporate. Okay, so here's part three. How do I find out how long it takes for this puddle to evaporate? What am I gonna do? Yeah. So you divided by 0.025. Okay, so when you have a look at this, right? It would be it would be you know not that not that unusual to say okay well the rate that I'm going at is that zero point zero two five that's yeah, been mentioned that's okay um, however I have a problem with that which is that they haven't said like just look really carefully at the wording of the question right they've said um, the evaporation constant is known to be k equals da 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 the evaporation constant what is the evaporation constant. <coughs> It's not the rate necessarily at which it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's this number here, right? It's, it's what's proportional between these two things. Okay? So actually, there's an extra step I need to do. I don't have an expression for h yet, right? I have an expression for dh on dt. So how do I climb up out of an expression for change to an expression? I'm going to integrate, okay? So I'm going to say h equals and where is my dh on dt? Oh, well, it's just, it's just that guy, right? So it's going to be... Why do you say negative k or k? I'm, I'm dealing with h. I'm dealing oh, with h at the moment. So that's that. Okay. Okay. So the line I've got, so let me just get to the right page, is, um, is k, which is 0 0.025. With respect to time. Yeah, I'm integrating. So from this, it's just a constant, so I'm just going to get a factor of t. But it's indefinite, so I have a constant. So how do I work out this constant? Yeah, the question has given me information, right? Um, the, the fancy way we say it is, you've been given initial conditions, right? So you can say, when t equals 0, what's h equal to? Now, you just got to be slightly careful here. The answer is 2, but it's not 2 because the question says 2. It's 2 because 4 minus 2 is 2. What's 4 minus 2? So remember, the, the thing I'm dealing with is h, right? That's this guy up here. So if the depth of this starts at 2, then this must be 4 take away 2, right? So if, for instance, my puddle started at 1 centimetre, um, when t equals 0, h would not be 1. What would h be? It would be 3. It would be 4 take away 1. Right? Question? Doesn't it say that the radius of the sphere would be 4 centimetres? Uh, we, we, got, we got it from that. We got it from that. Yeah. So you do need that piece of information. And they've kind of, yeah, they haven't explicitly said, oh, yeah, it's 4. But I think we can conclude that from that equation. Okay. So yes, just be careful. Like I said, it's not just about the numbers, but knowing how to use them. And that's, a, that's an easy trap to fall into. We kind of got lucky that if you did it wrong and just said, oh, h equals 2, because the question said 2, you just have, by coincidence, gotten it right. But we could have changed it to def 1 or def 3 or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to say, uh, therefore, 0 0.025 times 0, that's me putting in times 0, plus my constant equals Two. So that's why c equals two. And I don't think you should leap to this line. I think you should show these simp admittedly simple, but these important steps that demonstrate one. So therefore, h equals. And now on the basis of that equation, I'm not even going to finish it because I think you can you can work this out. What do I want h to be? Zero. No. When does the puddle evaporate? It's when there's no water left. Which means that h, remember, was growing and growing and growing. So you want h to be equal to 4. And when h equals 4, <coughs> you're going to get an answer out for this. Someone got, actually, I've, I've got the number already. Which is 80, I believe. Uh, which is 80, two. okay. Uh, uh, well, yeah, but we've, we've actually taken that out. So maybe I will put this line working here. Um, I'm going to say the puddle evaporates, or the puddle has evaporated. And then you state your value, right? And then you just go ahead and solve. 